So I was flying a glider I built in KSB2, and I was attempting to get the highest level of relief possible, which is the uh, lift to drag ratio of the plane, also known as the glide ratio. Uh, the glider I'm flying here gets about 60 to 1, which means every 1 meter I lose, I go forward 60 meters. And I use a high aspect ratio wing because they have less of this drag than uh, shorter wings. Or do they? So to figure out uh, how KSP2 treats these different aspect ratio wings, we first need to know what aspect ratio is. So it's the length of the wing by the width of the wing. It's super easy. Now, long aspect ratios, like the glider on the left, have way, way longer wings than the, the one on the right. That also means they generate less wing tip vortices, uh, because more of their area is far away from the tip than the shorter wings. And uh, because the shorter wings have so much area right next to the wing tip, or at least close to the wing tip, they generate a lot more drag, induced drag specifically, which slows the plane down a lot, meaning that their lift to drag ratio is going to be a lot shorter. So for the first test, we used our uh, nice short aspect ratio glider, and we just brought it up to altitude and we slowed down to around 27 meters a second, that's why I'm testing on my, uh, my glide ratios. So for the short aspect ratio, we actually got 45 or so to 1, which is really amazing. That's 45 feet forward for every 1 foot loss, which is better than you should be getting with that kind of wind. And then we tried the same with our long wing glider, which is just the opposite aspect ratio. So instead of being like one unit long, it's one unit wide. And it actually got the exact same value, which means KSP2 does not simulate wings and vortices, meaning your gliders can have any shape of wing they want and they'll have the same efficiency as long as the area is the same.